Four Israeli soldiers have been killed and several wounded as fierce battles rage on across the Gaza Strip. The Israeli army says the soldiers were killed when an explosive device went off near a school in Gaza City. An officer and another soldier from the same battalion were seriously wounded in the explosion. IDF says it is still unclear whether the incident occurred in a booby-trapped house or as the soldiers were passing through a city street. The fight back from Hamas comes as Israeli troops are pushing further into Rafah in southern Gaza as its tanks split the city in two and then circle the eastern half. On the other hand, Hamas militants have fired a salvo of rockets at the southern city of Beersheba for the first time since December, lightly injuring a woman. Hamas's armed wing claiming the attack says it targeted the city with a missile barrage in response to massacres against civilians in Gaza. While according to Israel, five rockets were launched towards the city in total. One was intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system and most fell in open areas. While in Jerusalem, the United Nations Agency for Palestinian Refugees is closing its Jerusalem compound after Israeli protesters twice set fire to its perimeter. Last night there was a fire in our compound. Um, some locals started that fire. We have them on uh, CCTV. They started that fire, which expanded about 70 meters uh, of dry brush. And we then had a second fire uh, two hours later, very near our petrol station in the back of the compound, uh, petrol and diesel. And of course, this would have been very dangerous if that had, had exploded the whole mm. community because we have many residents here, many neighbors. It would have been extremely dangerous. According to the Commissioner General of UNRWA, the staff had to put the fires out themselves because firefighters and police were slow to arrive at the headquarters. No one was injured in the arson attack. While in central Gaza's Nusserat camp, rescue workers and civilians searched frantically for victims after a strike reduced a home to rubble and caused severe damage. And in southern Gaza's Rafa, Palestinians fear a famine worse than in the north amid the ongoing Israeli assault on the city. And after the army seized the Rafah crossing into Egypt from Hamas militants, the closure of the border has raised new concerns about aid delivery into Gaza, where the United Nations has warned of famine. The situation in Rafah is on a knife's edge as airstrikes continue throughout southern Gaza. Over one million Palestinians, half of whom are children, have crowded in the Rafa government for shelter. We are actively engaged with all involved for the resumption of the entry of life-saving supplies, including desperate needed fuel through Rafa and Kerem Shalom crossings. On the diplomacy front, Hamas officials said efforts to forge a hostage release and troops in the seven-month war has come back to square one after Israel effectively rejected a proposal by interna the international mediator. The U.S., which is a longtime ally of Israel, believes remaining gaps can be surmounted, as in-person talks on a Gaza ceasefire for hostages agreement concluded for now with no deal. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.